623 here. It is Monday morning. There is a new way to detect ALS at home, and it's much easier than past methods, and it's so very important. Joining us this morning, Indu Navar, founder of Everything ALS, a nationwide organization, and the Peter Cohen Foundation. Indu, thank you for coming in this morning to talk about ALS, a hideous disease. It's horrible. It's touched your life and your family as well. Let's just talk about ALS and how, I guess, prevalent it is uh, in society right now. Yeah, thank you very much for having me here. Um, you know, every 90 minutes somebody is diagnosed with ALS. Uh, the issue that we have with ALS is that it's actually the prevalence is the same as MS, but you hear about MS a lot more because people live longer. With ALS, people have two to five years from the time you get symptoms onset to get diagnosed. So that is one of the big problems that we have is the fatality of the disease. It's, it's horrible, horrible disease. Um, let's get right into the, the, this idea of detection and a, and a way to sort of get a head start on treatment and at least diagnosing it. What can people do and what are some of these new methods that are, that are being incorporated? So there's a lot of physiological data that is how you speak and how you move and how you use your fingers. So there are a lot of signals and so what we're doing is we're using sensors along with artificial intelligence and machine learning to predict what's going to happen. So instead of waiting for it to happen, that's too late by the time you actually get diagnosed today. And, and, and the, the, the unfortunate thing is there isn't a cure, obviously, for ALS. We know that. That's an ongoing effort. But at least the earlier you can detect it, the more you can treat it. Correct. Correct. There are some treatments today for ALS. Um, so when you do it early, it will help. And also, it's a chicken and the egg problem. Uh, you know, if we actually had stage four equivalent of um, cancer detection and never know at stage zero and stage one, we wouldn't be where we are today. In neurology, that's where we are. Yeah. We're actually catching everybody at the stage four equivalent of cancer. So if you have early diagnosis, then we can actually have them participate in the clinical trials where we would be able to see the changes uh, in the body for these diagnosed patients with the drug. How can people take part in, in this kind of a study? So what we're doing is it's called citizen-driven research. That, that, that is, we the people who have been affected by the disease are taking charge and creating this research. So if people go to everythingals.org, research, tab, um, that is all the research that's put together and we want we want to encourage people to join in and we want to encourage people who have ALS also family members or friends we call them controls even if they don't have ALS they can actually participate in our studies. The information is power it's important to be honest with your own assessment and really to take part in doing something here to help with ALS. Indu Navar thank you for coming in this morning it's such an important topic we appreciate it thank you very thank much. Thank you so much for having me.